please help me out by, by uh, showing the beginners exactly what I would like them to be practicing this week. So pick up your violin from guitar position. She places it underneath her, her chin and puts it on her shoulder. Of course, she usually has a shoulder rest. Now she's going to go ahead and she's going to bow, not her age, we're going to ask her to do eight. She's going to do long bows on each one of the strings. I think you understand how to go from all of the strings to, to a next one. Now the next thing is practice a little bit of doing each different rhythm. Let's do pepperoni pizza on each one of the strings. Good. So the thing is, and then she would do other ones like yum yum peanut butter or whatever it is. We're going to skip that. You can go ahead and continue through. The next part of it would be to put your violin down and we're going to go ahead and clap and count, and, uh, count rhythms. So the first thing you do is you get the rhythms going in your head. I'm moving a stand kind of in front of her. She's going to look at, um, she's going to look at line B and she's going to go ahead and clap the rhythm on line B. She gets counting going in her head and anytime she's ready to begin. Okay, and now will you pick up the violin and please play that rhythm for us? And she gets... And before she begins, she makes sure that she has the counting going in her head. Now, of course, she would then put the violin down to do C and then the violin down to do D. And at the end of this, she would practice doing the long bows again because we're trying to get a lot more long bows in this week. But now, Mai, would you, without a shoulder rest, you think you could play something a little bit fancier just for a moment? Thank you very much. That's the end of this video.